Hello, listeners. This is the NPG podcast. Randomness time. Okay, I, I have something I want to discuss for randomness. Okay. Two things, actually. Okay. One of them. Yes. Is Walking Dead. Okay. And I'm sorry, Matt. Uh, this isn't your isn't your jam. I'm sorry. Those things we talk about is not somebody's jam, so it's okay. He'll get over it. That's true. <laughs> so I did like we not butter. nail that? Did we did we not fucking nail it? Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself for sure. We definitely said I, well, Abraham I, and or Glenn. Uh, spoiler begrud- begrudgingly. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Yeah. Um, Wait a second. I I agree with you guys. I'm just saying it's not your jam. Like the, the the show is not your jam. The show isn't, but the comic is. I love. The I know. Comic. I'm just saying that we're, we're talking said, about stuff that happened in the show, which doesn't yeah. exactly correlate with correlate right. with You're the right. comics. Coral. Coral. Correlate. Um. No, it was. It just made sense in the grand scheme of things for me, because, like, Abraham was working with borrowed time is really what it came down to compared to the comics. But then again, I just don't understand. but then again, so it was right. like Carol and Morgan at this point. I think Carol a long well, time no, should have gone a long time ago. I think Morgan so, but Daryl, how about his borrowed time? He doesn't even exist. Yeah, I was gonna say um, exactly. So yeah, I, I it's like well, it's what's the actor who played um uh not Abraham uh damn I just had a brain fart <laughs> anyway. Glenn? Glenn, thank you, God. Um, you know, he basically said, you know, this is a major turning point in the comics and in the series, and that it, it, if it, it probably needed to happen one way or the other, um, really soon. So it made sense. It's I what would, I figured it would have been too. I knew I like deep down knew it was too. I was hoping it wouldn't be Glenn because that seemed too obvious at the time. But now that I think about it more and more and what the actor said about it, I'm like it, it makes sense. So. Now, how With, what happens? Brutal was that? Yeah, I know. God, I like just saw it before yeah. this thing started. Yeah, he yeah. looked like sloth by the end of it. It's pretty gross. Yeah. Oh it yeah. Was. I, I, I but, that went on a little. Uh, people all give give a lot of shit about that show being on AMC where they can't curse, but I'll tell you what, they don't have a problem with the gore factor one bit. Oh no. So, doggies, Oops. doggies, doggy, doggy, doggy. You guys notice I got Dexter back here? Yeah, I said. Yeah, I was like, kitty. <laughs> So you're talking uh, about randomness. There you go. You yeah. got two dogs trying to fight for a chair. My chair. Dexter. Oh, my chair. Um, it was, it was well off. I, there was a lot of things. Some of the things about the episode in general that was just kind of, it kind of real iffy on. Like, how did the hatchet get on the roof of the va- of the van? Um, I'm pretty sure Negan just went. Whoosh. Did he? Okay. Because I thought he just opened up the door outside. and whipped it up there. Gotcha. Okay. And then it was just like the cutting to the people like everybody getting hit in the head with uh, Lucille which is like really it's just like they shot the footage and there's like well we need to use it somehow so let's just like pretty well I mean you they, know, they shot it to it kind in. of deceive people right yeah so wait a bunch of people got nailed no they like Rick during this or- this ordeal that he was going through at the time was imagining everybody getting hit in the head with Lucille oh. but they didn't and it's their way of not yeah. telling us who it was but, but they so, did that after the fact though did they? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah. right. You remember what could happen. That's yeah. right. Think about what happened, what is happening, and what could happen. Yep. That explains what one of that's my right. one of my friends was talking about. He posted something about the fact that none of us are ready for what's about to happen, and I think he saw something about Daryl getting knocked the fuck out. Daryl came in because he was under the in, in the episode. He came in because he thought Rosita was about to get hit with the bat or something to that effect, and he came in and hit Negan. Right, and Negan, so, Negan's retaliation was to then take it out on Glenn. Did, did Glenn did Glenn marry the uh, girl? Yeah, they have. She's pregnant in, in this. Yeah, she's pregnant okay. now. Oh, that's already announced. Good. Yeah. So, in the comic, his death is what caused her to really rise to power. Yes. To yeah, exactly. Become so that kind of needed become, to happen. Yeah. She's right. going, what's the name of it? Hilltop. Hilltop. Yeah, that's that's yeah. where she's going now because she's having problems with her pregnancy, and that's where they're. Oh, I well, think that's where they're leading it towards. 
Well, spoilers to you people. It's where she's going to become mayor of the whole goddamn place. Yep. And it's yeah, not like gonna the mayor's a, a pretty fucking dink there anyways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the mayor's a douche. Um, so, and then I guess the next episode, they're introducing the kingdom. Yeah, I figured they'd awesome. have to. Like the, yep. I figured they might try and draw the whole Ezekiel Shiva thing, but no, it's, no he's already it's, been in all the, uh, all the all the stuff. They can't wait till mid-season for that. Yeah. So, White Tigers. Promotional materials. I'm just curious how they're going to ex- extend this out for 16 episodes total. Yeah, really. You know, that's the thing. Like, and I wonder where they're gonna where they're gonna leave off the midseason. Like, it's got to be something huge. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So at any rate, that happened. And once again, thanks everybody wild. who watched the live feed of me. You know, almost breaking down at the end. Um, <laughs> Wait, why? Why at the end? Well, it wasn't the full hour. I didn't record for a full hour or stream it for a full hour. I oh. streamed it to, for like 30 minutes up until the things that people were waiting for to happen happened. Um, mm-hmm. And then I cut the feed uh, from there. Oh. So. You got... <laughs> You're like, too powerful. No, stop it, look at me. Yeah. Well, no, it, it actually kind of got to that way because, like, it, it was like what you said, you know, earlier. It was like, you think, like, you've, you've had, like, so many months to prepare for every, any possible outcome there could have been. And even though I knew, like, deep down, I knew it would be two people, and one of those people would definitely be Abraham, in my opinion, at the time. And then possibly Glenn. I just still, it's still, like, as soon as that bat hit his head, I was like, oh, my God. Like, it it, it, made, it made me jump. Like, I knew it was going to happen, but I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? And So, wait, he took out he, he took out Abraham first? Yeah, he took out Abraham first. Yeah, he was the eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Yep. Ah, uh-huh. So why why did he uh, continue? What was his reason to continue on Glenn? Because of Daryl yeah. retaliating. Yeah, Daryl punched him in the face, and he's like, "I will shut that shit down. down no exceptions." Yep. Whack. Oh. And then fucking oh my god, you should you should watch the scene on YouTube. It's up there. It is fucking brutal. Yeah, all. It's like the most it. brutal I've seen in that show. Yep. I watched the uh, scene just before the show started, and somebody had posted it with um, Titanic's My Heart Will Go On. <laughs> and so I think I might have lost some of the. Uh, you probably did. Yeah. It. Yep. But I saw Glenn get beat up, beat down like, like two or three times there, and he ended up looking like sloth at the end yeah, of it. Yeah, there you go. Like, so you didn't see it. Okay. He's... But yeah, I just saw that, but it had Celine Dion's. Yeah. Oh, me. <laughs> Me, me, me. You know, seeing the Canadian national anthem, and uh, <laughs> that's just what she does. Like, she, random. No, oh, she's Canadian. She's what Canada, 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 Canada is. Canada has all their money based on. Did you know we have a town this? called Canada here? Yeah, <laughs> Canada, 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 Canada. Nope. But no, you said two things though. Yeah, a Nintendo Switch, bitch. Yep, I was, about, I was actually going to bring that up, but since you did, go right on ahead. I got nothing to say. I'm just going to bring it up. Yo. I, I need to know more about pricing and shit before I decide whether or not I actually want it. Mm-hmm. Uh, from what I see so far, it seems like it's right up my fucking alley. Um, Matt's giving me a thumb down. Why? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's like, it's like we, we've got research and development to make a home console game. Next year, we've got research and development to make a portable game. We've run out of money, guys. Combine them both. So let's make a portable game and a home console game in well, one. That's pretty much what the what everybody figured it would be anyway. Going by the schematics. It's not supposed to take over the DS. It is, actually. Is it really? Yep. Oh, so well, they're what? combining them both. Yep. yep. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. Well, I, I mean, that, like that, I mean it's an what, extra thing. I mean, the Wii U, yes, definitely, and 3DS. I don't, I think so because, it, not right away, um, but I think it's meant to just, you know, combine all that shit so they don't have to uh, do two separate things. Um, Makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm on. Uh, what, what, being who I am, initially looking at it, I'm like, okay, cool, um, portable gaming system. The handheld that's cool with the controllers and switching them and things like that i mean it doesn't i mean i'm not overly impressed but i'm like okay i'm i'm on board so far what i'm not on board with and not, not to say i'm not on board it we don't know enough yet but it's cartridge based which i don't have a problem with it being cartridge based but it's 
Nintendo has to under it needs to be comfortable with the fact that they're not going to be number one anytime soon. They're not going to be the first. I think choice. they know that. You know what I mean? That's why they're not even bothering. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're like they know, so they're not going for a graphical powerhouse. They're not going to yeah. bother trying to release it this year. Yeah, they're just and, not going. When, when was the last time they went for a graphical powerhouse? Yeah, exactly. But they're not going to bother trying. Right. Nintendo sixty four was it, and that's done. Um, ha- having said 20 that, years ago. It's not going to be as it's not as powerful as the Xbox One or the PS4. We know that it's probably a little bit more powerful than the 360 and PS3. Um, but like, I don't get the hype over some of the things. Like everybody, oh, you can play Skyrim. Like, okay, congratulations, Skyrim came out five years ago. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It doesn't. Did you look at the quality on? Yeah. On now, the I'm, game not, too? I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to base that quality. Like, I, I looked at the video, and I'm like, okay, that looks weird on there. Uh, compared yeah. to what we played, but I'm not I'm not going to go there yet, just because that could have just been something rendered for the video, um, which they normally up render for videos, right. especially when they're promoting something. But I also think it's like the thing with like with the Wii U when the Wii U came out, they had it's like here here's Batman that's already been out on the PlayStation Three for however long, only with touch features on the pad here's mass effect 3 that's a little bit different and i'm afraid they're going to go down that rabbit hole again if they go down that rabbit hole then i don't know if it's <laughs> if it's worth <laughs> i'm sorry i'm picturing uh i'm picturing max headroom all of a sudden yeah. just like <laughs> coming out in chihuahua form um i i don't know like they they have this graphic of like here's all of our third-party developers that are working on it We've seen that kind of graphic before from them for third parties, and it didn't turn out to be anything. So I just don't know how third how third hold on for a second, Matt, how third party people or developers <laughs> are going to want to make something that's not optical based. Yeah. So anyway. Well, apparently they got all that fucking third party support that you could ever want. Well, yeah, but they said that too about the Wii and then the Wii U. And then that started dropping off. Off, off the top of the head, uh-huh. this just it, it all of a sudden kind of dawned on me. I'm a person who loves magic tricks or sleight of hand tricks. I think they're a blast. They're fun. Now, if I if I perform a sleight of hand trick on somebody, they're like, "Ooh, that's awesome!" Mm-hmm. Then they're like, "Do it again." No. You don't do it twice. You don't do it three times. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is because it starts to lose its luster. You know, even even if they still are baffled by it, they're they are it starts to lose its magic. Because mm-hmm. you know what's gonna happen that time. Mm-hmm. Over the past however many years since the Wii started, that's kind of how their system launches have been. It's been here's a magic trick. And every time, every time I've looked at it and was like, that's cool. Then I watch it again. I'm like, oh. I watch it again. I'm like, no, I don't think I want that in my house. And they're they're bring that word back. That gimmick is what they're using to sell their system. That's all it ever is these past few years. It it's cool and all, but they still haven't grasped the concept that you know what? Maybe I don't want to play basketball with my actual basketball friends. Maybe I want to play basketball with my basketball friends in California or New Haven or freaking England. So you don't think it's going to have online support? I'm not saying that it is or isn't, but they didn't promote that it would. Yeah. Hmm. And, and apparently there's a lot of stuff we don't know. They're not going to mention anything until until 2017. So we have to stew in what we have right now. Um, they could have just given us nothing. Yeah. And well, I think they had to do it because they have an investors meeting this week, and they had to get it out. Um, mm-hmm. So, but it, I thought it was funny. Go ahead. What, Sorry, no, no, I, no, I, no. I, Stephen said they could have given me the nothing, and I was thinking to myself, uh, "Fucking never-ending story." <laughs> and that's kind of what that's kind of what Nintendo's doing to themselves. They've released the nothing, and they're just destroying themselves. So, the idea of being able to play Zelda or Mario on the fly from going home to traveling to Myrtle Beach or whatever, that doesn't appeal to you at all? No, I'm bad. <clears throat> okay. I mean, that's what I... I mean, I, I, I have a DS. I do love my my handheld Nintendo products. Mm-hmm. I like them because they do their job. Mm-hmm. And that's all I want them for. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have something that is both. Because when I come home and I want to play something... 
I want to play something that's, you know, graphically appealing. I, I don't come home and play my 360. It's still hooked up. I don't know why, but I don't play it because I have, I feel like I'm taking a further step back mm -hmm. doing that. And that's how I feel like having a Nintendo Switch in your house is going to be like. It's like buying a 360 for your house. Why would you do that if you have a PS4 or Xbox One? Now, if, you, if you're buying the Switch for its portable use, cool, power to you, it's the new DS. That's fine. I can get behind that. But to try and incorporate into a, a home console use is a joke. It's a complete farce. It's, it's a portable console that they're trying to market as a home console. I'm okay with that. Because yeah, you know how much like, I love playing Metal Gear Solid Five on a screen like that. Yeah, um, like I like if they were trying to be the console that blows everything else out of the water, then maybe. But they're not showing me anything that is going to take away from my time from my Xbox or my PS4, and that's why I said they have to be comfortable with being number two in a lot of people's eyes, or even number three for that matter. Number um, three, yeah, and, and and you've got let's say you've got sixty dollars and. Um, let's say Persona 5, okay? Okay. Persona 5 comes out, and you have the option to buy it for $60 on the PS4 mm -hmm. or $60 for the Nintendo Switch. Well, and it, you're looking at, hold on, hold on. You're looking at, just, just as the main thing for me, mm -hmm. you're looking at with the PS4, you're going to have a more graphically enhanced game. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to suffer some of that graphics mm -hmm. to allow for that portability. Which might be a viable option for some people, right? But go ahead. What's your take on that? Well, I, my, I don't. I would not do that myself because I want to play those games at home, and I want to feel like I'm living in the future and playing at the most graphically enhanced possibility there is. If I was employed by someone that has me on the go continuously, then yes, the Nintendo Switch sure. would appeal to me. I'm not. I, I've never. I've never been a huge handheld uh, fan, even with the 3DS or the DS Lite, even with the Vita. I've I've played the Vita more than I ever had a DS system, um, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but I, that's just how I am. I don't like being hunched over, doing this at home if I don't have to, or or anywhere right. else for that matter. So, for me, no. It's I would get on the PS4, but there are those. And I don't know how many of those people would even consider buying the Nintendo Switch, but there are people that are more on the go that are willing to do that. Maybe. That that's the thing is, I mean, if you're if you're living a transit life where you're going on subway system to subway system, yeah, maybe right. if you're if you're spending two hours of your day doing that, I can see that being a possibility. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything that Nintendo can say at this point that would change your mind a bit? Like anything they could introduce or whatever. Steven, you have anything? They don't need to change my mind, man. They just need to tell me it's got a good price point and oh, that okay. I will see some decent titles on it. Yeah. You know like what? I was already That's... almost ready to buy a Wii U. I was almost ready. I That's had like five hundred dollars in my pocket. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna fucking get this thing. Yeah. What but Steven I didn't. just and said I... is perfect. Price point. Price point. If they told me, me this titles? system. If they told me the system came out for two hundred dollars, I'm for it. I'll get it. If it came out at a handheld handheld game console price, I'd get it. But it won't. But you know, regardless of even though the it's just like that dock is like nothing. I think the the popular opinion is that it's going to be uh, two ninety nine ninety nine. Of course, we don't know that hundred percent. Acceptable. My my price, like if they wanted to start going off shelves immediately, we'd make it at two forty nine ninety nine. But do it about five months. I think that to make this purchase more viable, they have to include some sort of game with it. Oh yeah, Mario Maker. Well, they, they have to they have to bundle. They would have to. They have to Mario bundle Maker. with something, whether it's Zelda or whether it's that kind of cool looking Mario title they showed on you know on the TV. If that, when was if the last time they? Bit. When was the last time a system did that? Anyway, we've talked about we, this we, the, the necessity of bundling a game with well that a new system. Well, that kind of depends, like. Like I, the last real good game I could think of technically would be on the Wii with Wii Sports, but then like the See, Wii, that, that... Wii U had Nintendo Land. But if you're talking about like a, a full fledged game that doesn't a have multiple game. parts, yeah, 
Um, like when the 64 came out, you had yeah. Mario 64. Yep. You know, or Star Fox if you wait a little bit. Um, Super Nintendo, you had Super Mario World. Right. I, GameCube came with nothing. Yeah. GameCube came with absolutely nothing. Right. We came with nothing. Wii Sports is is. It's more like I'm a tech sorry, demo. It, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly how I view it. Is is a tech demo, and that's the price point it got too. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Why not follow that suit that worked for so long? And like you said, this new Mario title, let it come with a new Mario game. Even the DS games, the DS systems never came with a new right. Mario game. Right. It did come with Brain Age at one point. It did come with Brain Age, but really, Later how much on, can no. you play Brain Age? Yeah, no, you're right. You that was, uh, Brain Age for Brain that was Age GSI XL that came with it, didn't it? Maybe. Um, and by then, they had to try and sell the system. That I, 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 That's I not guess... a new system. In my opinion, if it's by itself, I think two forty nine ninety nine is fair. If you want to charge three hundred dollars, there has to be something more to it. You have to put it in a game or something else that's going to make it viable. Because you can buy an X- Xbox One S right now for three hundred. That's a more powerful system than this is going to be, apparently. So, right. I don't know. I mean, once again, we won't know anything until next year, technically. Hopefully, in January, because the thing comes out in March. They're kind of taking their. Uh, sweet time with everything, but I guess there's method you know, to the madness. One other thing that I think would actually kind of make it a more viable option, like, I, I've already set the ground rule at 200 mm-hmm. but if they said 250 and they offered one key component, I would buy it. And that key component would be customization of the system on order. Oh, like if I want to make it a color. certain color scheme yeah. or make it a certain skin... If I want to do whatever I want to it, I'll pay that extra. Remember when we worked at GameStop and the Wii was coming out and they teased all these different colors? That pissed yep. me off when and it was only How white. many of those came out? Like the None. black came out later. None of them came. Yeah. They did the same That's thing right. with the, uh, the new 3DS. We got like two colors here. Yeah. It pisses me off when they do that. So I was like, ooh, look at that red <laughs> one. Oh. But I mean, just like the Xbox controller. If we had something like that. Yeah. Where you can make it however the hell you want. Yeah, I would I would pay that extra fifty bucks for that, okay. especially since you're going to be carrying this thing around all over with you. Red. Yep. Eventually, it's pretty. I had to dig, had to dig it up out of storage. Yep. Um. Real quick, on the video, it showed it showed them playing it portably and all that with the controllers and whatnot. You can use a you can use a regular controller on it either way, which is cool with me. Now, right? Does it need to have touch fun- functionality? It better. I mean, with these days, it probably should. Yeah, they just didn't show anybody touching it. That's why I'm asking. You're right. They didn't. I didn't think about that. Then yeah, again, better. Would that be more of a gimmick? <laughs> Maybe it's something else. I mean, you're putting show controllers later. on it. So, yeah. with and cell phones, the way are tiny. <laughs> with cell phones the way they are, it's not really a gimmick at this point. With every screen that you see, it's practically touch screen. Yeah. In fact, so much that people still drive me fucking insane when they come over to my house and they're like. Yeah, click this right here. They're touching the fucking screen. It's not like it's not um, a cell phone. Does it matter? Does it really matter that much in the grand scheme of things? Depending on what they do with it. And the reason I ask that is because if not having it be a touch screen can reduce the price by fifty to a hundred dollars, what it normally would be, is it worth it? I hardly ever like. <laughs> I don't like. Maybe I'm just playing the wrong games, but I don't think I ever touch the screen on my Vita unless I'm remote playing. Like I, there, you can you can touch the screen in a lot of the games that I play, like including Luminous. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. And I don't touch the screen. I fucking I, I'll use the buttons. I will use tactile feedback any day of the week. Yeah. Okay. No. Yep. All right. I like that the, the the feeling that I press the button, it goes tick tick, and stuff happens. Yeah. That's like, why that's Steven why so uses play. BlackBerry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love BlackBerry. No, I actually never owned it. <laughs> I miss my I miss my razor. They make those in Canada. Blackberry. You know, I used to I used to be able to text people without ever even looking at the phone. So I could actually drive and text and never once never once look at the goddamn screen. I never got that. Yeah, you get like arrested here if you did that. Yeah. Oh, you, you would here, here too, too. But state of New York is very in here. Bad like that. the cops ride the buses so they can catch people doing it. Huh? 
<laughs> in Canada, cops ride the buses. They ride buses so they can catch people on their phones. They're just like on the buses with their binoculars and like, yeah, I got you, little fucker. Well, what what happens when they catch them? Do they get off the bus and chase them down? Or I mean, how does they write they or... write down their license plate and then they get a citation? <laughs> right, you ride the mooses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the mooses. I'm gonna get a ticket. Here, here pull in, in America. Here in America, where that happens, like I'm gonna get a ticket here for my trip to Myrtle Beach, because um. My GPS told me to go take the express lane, and I was listening to it. And uh, I took the express lane in D.C. without even thinking about it. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm on the express lane. I don't have an express pass. I'm going to get a ticket. But the good thing about it is you're being issued a ticket without human authorization of it. So you don't legally have to pay those kind of tickets. So wait a minute. You guys get ticketed for using the express lanes? It's uh, they in DC they actually made an entire lane for not a lane but like an yeah entire, we have an entire new highway separate freeway. Like oh, it's yeah. called the four hundred seven, yeah. the express toll road. But you can go on it if you want, and they'll send you a bill for it. It's not a, we don't get ticketed for it. It's like oh here you go, you travel for X number of kilometers during the busy hours. It's kind of like do you guys get charged electricity based on peak hours? Kilometer what? Kilometers? Huh? <laughs> yes, Col- Colombo Col- Colombo turds. Yes. <laughs> Um, no, we don't get charged on peak hours. I don't think. Okay. Well, then that's just Ontario, and we get dicked around on our electricity. But okay, so if you ride it during certain hours, you get charged more than if you were to stay in the middle of the night. So it, we, it's just like they send you a bill, like two months or two weeks down the road, saying you right. were on from this point at this point at this point at this point, and so this is like, how much this is how much it costs you to do that. So it's like old if cell phone plans. Me- after nine, it's free. <laughs> exactly. Okay. If they sent me a bill, that would be fine. I would actually have no problem paying that. I feel kind of fucking stupid for just blindly listening to my GPS. But they're going to send me a ticket, whereas my 3 or $4 charge would be, it's going to be a $40 charge. Yeah, instead of like a little extra gas to go the normal way, right? Right. It's not even ticketed. Wow. No, it's not even, it's not even extra gas. It's just slower. Well, it's that's fucked a little bit extra well, Yeah, there you go. Then yeah. that, That's fucked up, though. That's DC. That's what controls our country here. That's what We're doing great. I'll, I'll, I'll take my 407 ETR, thank you. For 400 kilometers for Colombo turds. What are, turds. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't think you guys in foreign countries understand how inconceivable it is for Americans to relate distance to that. <laughs> it's all. There's miles. just I. I don't. I don't get kilometers. Kitty. Beautiful kitty. Yeah, kitty. All how right, many good kilometers topic. long? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> well guys i do have to get to bed okay yeah i'm trying to end this it off. i'm waiting for someone else to speak because every time i try to someone speaks so are we good columbo turds columbo turds on that note that's been episode number 39 of the non wow. geeks podcast catch Vente us in the wave catch us live whenever we decide to do a live for the week if you don't want to do that that's fine you just have to wait the following week on itunes and soundcloud if you want the video you'll have to wait on friday the following week as well for the full video if you don't want to do that that's fine we break it up topic by topic monday through thursday on youtube the mp3 goes up on that friday that's it say goodbye gentlemen okay bye goodbye gentlemen see you later What's going on, everybody? Brian here with the Nerd Theory Channel and MPG Podcast. If you like what you saw, please support us on Patreon at www.patreon.com backslash nerdtheory.